Hey guys, the Better Editor and coming at you guys with a little video on Red Dead Online, and this is of a solo money and XP glitch that does still work either, in the either, game either of Red Dead Online. The there out. is good news and bad news to this. Okay, the bad news is pretty bad. Okay, you can no longer respawn collectibles over and over using the date and time method. You can no longer do that. I've tried that multiple times today. Couldn't get it to work one time. But the good news is you can still do the find new lo or find new session at a place and get all of the possible collector all the possible collectibles to spawn there. There's no way to make them respawn, but what you can do is go to a location where a lot of collectibles spawn. You go there, you stand there, you find a new session, they all spawn in, and the, like the ones that shouldn't be spawned in, spawn in. So pretty much what you're doing is you're getting all the collectibles that is on every single cycle all at one time, and you can only do this once per day. So every time the collectibles reset, which I think is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can look up what that time is in your time zone. After that, you can do it before that time, and then after that time, every single day. Now this may or may not work for you because I remember whenever I covered this in the past it was a little bit wonky, but it worked for me every single time that I tried it today and I'm going to show you two of the best locations to do this at just to get two and one done. Uh, you guys can check out my playlists. I have uh, three videos in that playlist called RDO Hotspots back whenever I used to cover this a lot uh, and I'll probably update that playlist and actually make more locations now where this is the only thing going uh, for the collectibles. If you guys do find anything then either hit me up on Discord, uh, my server is linked in the description or you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Uh, those both are featured in the outro of the video. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. So basically the first place that we're going to be covering is Window Rock. Here is the best place. I believe there's eight collectibles that you get here. Now, as you can see in this footage, I'm going around and there's none of the stuff. There's only, I think there's only one collectible there, and that is the collect, that is the, uh, the tarot card that's sitting in the barn windowsill. Now, how you're going to get all of the other ones is you're just going to sit, just stand in the middle of that place, and then just press the pause button, go to online, and then find a new free roam session. Once you do load in, then you can make your way around and you should notice that all of the other possible ones are there. There's five collectibles in the biggest house here. Uh, now whenever you walk in, I believe the first one I grabbed was I opened up the cabinet and grabbed that one. Uh, right there at that cabinet, there's that piece of jewelry in the cabinet and then there's also a card on a table right there that you can grab. Once you have grabbed those two things, there's a chair in the living room with a card in it. I don't know if I'm going in order or not. Also, there's a collectible in both of the bedrooms. Uh, you're just going to be going up the ladder uh, the first bedroom I go into, there is a piece of jewelry or something like that in the uh, chest up there. And then in the other bedroom, there is a card sitting on a crate. So that's all five of those that are in there. Don't forget about the one sitting on the chair in the living room. And then in this log cabin, there is a card sitting on the windowsill in here that you can grab. And then you can go ahead and grab that one. And then also in the barn, there is a window seal in the barn. If you go up the ladder, there's a card right there. And then there's also a collectible inside the chest in there that you can grab. And I believe that adds up to eight. So five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there's eight things there. And then also there's like a house on stilts next to where all the uh, all those plants are that you can grab. Uh, but that is, it's a diggable there, it's a coin, but that doesn't force spawn whenever you do find a new session, unfortunately. So you're just going to have to get lucky and get it while it's actually there. Uh, now the other spot is Coulter. Now at Coulter, uh, it's very easy, you're just going to, you can fast travel there. So you can just go straight there and whenever you're there, you're just going to stand in the middle of Coulter and find a new session. Boom. Once you have found the new session and you spawn back in, then you can make your way around and get all the collectibles that are there. Now, I think the first one that I go to is there is a card on this broken down church here. Uh, there's a card in the window seal here. You can grab that. And then in this house right here, this like, uh, it's kind of like a school or another church or something like that. There's a card sitting on the table in there at the main back of it. And then if you walk out of there and then you walk around, you go into the biggest house here that you stay in in story mode in chapter one. And there is two collectibles in here. There is a bottle of liquor right there at the left as soon as you walk in. And there's also a brush 
in the bedroom that Arthur stays in, uh, in the story mode, which is the one to the right of the fireplace. And then also in the house beside that to the right, if you go in there, uh, there is a card sitting on a table that you can grab. And then there's two more that we're going to be getting. There's two more cards. There is one sitting in this room right here where this like fire pit is, where uh, Pearson is at the beginning of the game. Uh, there's a card right there. And then also inside the actual barn, there is a card sitting on a hay bale right there. And you guys can try this. Let me know if it works out for you. It is unfortunate that you can only do this once a day. But if you did the, if you went to every hot spot and you banged it out once a day, you would have so many collectibles. And it's really easy to get a full, like, full collection, a full set of stuff if you do this. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did like it, then drop a like it. If you did not like it, then drop a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button and you will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.